I'm excited to introduce you to another episode of Public Health Answers. The ongoing pandemic impacts our daily lives. The current circumstances have highlighted the need of implementing public health in all policies, as well as the need to adapt to a more holistic and interdisciplinary approach to managing public health. Today, Professor Walter Ricciardi will give us a deeper insight on public health policies that have emerged during COVID-19. He's a professor of hygiene and public health at the Catholic University of Sacred Heart in Rome, editor of several leading journals, and he serves as a member of the EU expert panel on effective ways in investing in health. We're very honored to have you here with us today, Professor Ricciardi. My first question is, what is needed to implement public health policies when facing COVID-19? First of all, you need uh, skilled, competent, and brave professionals. So professionals that have the methodology to do their job correctly, but also the courage to speak truth to the power. Because, you know, COVID-19 has a lot of implication, not only uh, technological, not only health implication, but also political, economical. And sometimes, you know, the need for uh, saving lives and preserving health of the citizens is sometimes uh, put in a second uh, shape in comparison with some uh, priorities that really are related to the economic world or to the political world. So you need to be, of course, able to produce the appropriate evidence, but also able to propose to politicians and to decision makers in a way that they can, first of all, understand. And second, this is particularly true for ministers of health, going to the prime minister, to the president, to the cabinet, and defend the uh, arguments of the science and defend the argument of public health. This is very important. Where this is, hasn't happened, they have had problems. Where you have had the skilled and courageous professionals, uh, things have changed. How can we enhance the intersection between health and policies during a pandemic? Uh, I think uh, uh, traditionally what we scientists and professionals do is produce uh, uh, very important uh, uh, scientific papers published uh, on highly impact uh, journal. This is of course is an important prerequisite, but it's not enough. So you have to bring this evidence uh, to politicians uh, that sometimes do not have the time and maybe even the willingness uh, to read uh, a complicated scientific journal, a complicated uh, scientific paper. So you have arranged it in a way that they can immediately understand. They can evaluate the pros and the cons of a certain option that you propose. And then, of course, you take the most appropriate decision. If you do that, uh, I think the probability to enhance the intersection between health and policy is going to be stronger. If you don't do that, the probability are going to be very, very low. And what can young professionals, young public health professionals learn from COVID-19 regulations and policy for a future pandemic? Actually, uh, young public health professionals now have, uh, uh, first of all, what we, we didn't have in the past, uh, clarify to the world how public health is important, how important is the role of public health. In the past, there were many people that say, what is public health? You know, I don't understand. Are you a doctor? Are you a professional? What, or what your, what's your business? Now everybody understands why global health and public health are important for the safety and the welfare of the planet. So the, the, the young public health professionals have to capitalize on this legacy of, uh, and become in their own domain leaders. They have to lead the evidence. They have to lead colleagues. They have to lead themselves. You know, they have to be able to understand what are the ambitions? What do they want? And in comparison with other professions, they can really make a difference. They can really change the world. So young public health professionals can learn from COVID-19 that the world has changed. And in the future world, they can play a very, very important role. Thank you very much for your time and uh, highlighting the importance of public health policy. You're welcome.